Hello, this is going to be a tutorial on how to install your uh, bat or printer bed correctly onto your 3D Potter printer. So, for the bat, there are going to be four metal inserts, and they are going to be sitting in these little inserts here, this little cutout here on these four here. On our Pro, Super, and XL printers, uh, the bat has a specific orientation it has to go on. So, as you can see, these four inserts are not centered they're farther up on one end of the bat here so on that side we're going to make sure that the larger portion here is facing towards the uh, front of the printer here uh, if it is not if it is flipped this way which is the incorrect way then this part here the back of the bat is going to be crashing into the into the machine here so we don't want that so we definitely want this side to be on the front here and you should be able to uh, Align this up here. There we go. And you're going to take your little bag of uh, bat screws. And we'll be inserting all four of the screws with our Allen key here. So you can go ahead and put the screw on and then look underneath and start screwing it in. So once you have all four screws on, you're ready to go. But if you're unable to get uh, the screws on, there is an alternative way to put the bat on, which we are going to do right now. So when you get the printer, this uh, Y rail is actually detached. So we're gonna go ahead and take the Y rail back off to how it was when the printer was received. And we're going to put the bat onto the Y rail while the Y rail is upside down. And this can make it uh, slightly easier to perhaps put the bat on. So we're going to take the bat and turn it upside down. And as I mentioned earlier, we have to make sure that the orientation is correct here if it's this way or this way. So we're going to make sure of that. So here's the Y rail. So it should be in this orientation. So we're just going to straight go ahead and do this directly. Need a little bit more room here. I'm just gonna move the printer out of the way. Okay, so here we have the Y rail and we're gonna go ahead and align this so that the four inserts are aligned on here. And now we're gonna be putting in the bat screws that were included directly in. And then we can go ahead and take the Y rail and put it back onto the printer. We do have an Allen key included to use for the screws. Uh, if you do have power tools, just be sure not to be using an impact driver or a uh, a drill on a drill bit mode because we don't want to be tightening these down to their absolute maximum tightness. Just a, a very nice snug fit is all that's really needed. So we can move the bat back over. Now we can access these two screws. we go and the bat is attached if you have a printer that has these uh, little shims and spacer plates which would be underneath where the bat is located here so they should be able to be have the screws passed all the way through them very easily just like so 
and you'll actually have M514s if your printer has these shims on them, which I will show you right here in just a moment. So here's our Y car with the uh, two uh, shim plates installed. And as you can see here, we use M514s in the bat screws and they should insert just normally, just like so. If by chance uh, these screws are not going incorrectly, you can uh, realign these plates by loosening these screws. These two are for this shim plate and these two are for the top shim plate. Uh, and also as an alter alternative, you can take uh, a five millimeter drill bit and just give this a quick uh, uh, increase, like a basically just a reaming tool almost. You can use a normal M5 drill bit and also increase the size of that. That should not be necessary and you should also be able to just loosen these screws and realign the plate. But this is another surefire way to make sure that the bat screws go in correctly. Thank you.